couldn't celebrate the new movie without a pink drink. And we think the Barbie movie screams rosé all day. Literally screams. Oh, look at this. Look at wow. this vision, okay? So today, we are highlighting a Brooklyn-based women-run company that is leading to push for a more sustainable industry. Mm -hmm. Juliet Wine is not your mother's box wine. And this morning, joining us on the couch is Allison Luvera, co-founder of Juliet Wine, to bring the pink to our drink. Allison, thank you so much for being here. Thanks Welcome. for having me. We have to first shout out that we tried your fantastic drink at uh, with Mimi Chang. At Mimi Chang's, our dear friends from Mimi yes. Chang's, they were here making dumplings with us. We went That's to right. their, their location on 2nd Avenue. And we washed down those dumplings. On a hot <laughs> Friday summer day, That's and right. this came in in the clutch. I bring this up for a couple of reasons. Those sisters, entrepreneurs, love it, lifting up other entrepreneurs who also happen to be women, which is I in the moment they were like, "Oh, you you have to reach out." To, like I had yeah. the email address within yeah. five seconds of sipping the rosé. That's right. I, I, you love, I love it. That. You love the collaboration between the women. Yeah. So how did you choose wine, or did wine choose you? So wine kind of chose me. It was actually my um, one of my first jobs out of college. So a college friend um, had a family connection and I went out and worked in Napa. <gasps> I was a marketing assistant at a winery out there. Wow. And um, I, I loved that experience, but um, and I think it instilled in me a lifelong love for wine. Mm -hmm. But then I moved back to New York and I, I ended up working in fashion for eight years. But that love never left me and I always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to do something. Um, and so I transitioned my career back into wine and spirits. I worked with some big brands for a couple of years. Then I went to business school so I could learn how to launch my own company. There you go. Yeah. And then where does, I know your, part, your business partner's not here today, mm -hmm. but where does she factor into this equation of Drink Julia? So we are old friends. We have actually known this. each other for 20 years, oh which my gosh. sounds crazy and makes me feel old, but um, <laughs> we actually met in college, and just like me, she loves wine, she's so passionate about wine, and we're both so passionate about sustainability as well. Um, and so, you know, two years ago, we were just talking about how there's so many great qualities about boxed wine. Mm -hmm. It's eco-friendly, yeah. it's glass-free, it stays nice. fresh for six weeks after you open oh it. God. But there was nothing out that. there that we wanted to drink. Exactly, you know? it's, thank it's you. It's not, it's kind of cheap, it's got this bad reputation, a lot of them are ugly. And so, um, you know, we thought to ourselves, you know, let's reinvent boxed wine. Like, I let's, love that. let's create something that we'd feel comfortable taking to a dinner party with our friends or giving as a gift. And, um, and so we, we created Juliet and um, we're really proud of it. We, we put some really high quality wine from the Central Coast of California mm -hmm. inside. And then we also invented this package. Um, we call it the Eco Magnum. It's something that we created. Uh, we just sort of dreamed it up. And it's then- It's this cylinder right yeah, here. Yeah, it's, it's the cylinder. I mean, it's like you could just carry it right out. Yeah, yeah. I so we, we call it our Eco Magnum. It actually holds two bottles of wine inside. And the whole thing is sustainable. So the wine in a Julia Eco Magnum actually has half, less than half the carbon emissions as the same amount of wine from glass bottles. Wow. So it looks beautiful, it tastes great, but it's also better for the planet. It's doing it's great planet. as yeah. well. So Absolutely. you've clearly explained to us what sets your business <laughs> apart from others. You've, yeah. you've nailed down the sustainability. I'm curious, for other entrepreneurs watching the show, do you recommend going into business with a friend? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. We've, you know, we don't always see eye to eye on everything, but there's that foundation of trust there that I think is really important. And, um, you know, we also have very complementary skill sets. Sure. I was just going to say, I feel like for me personally, I love, I, lo I have good ideas, but I always am looking for someone to bounce them off of. And mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. None of us are. We're not always going to be right. So it's nice to have someone else right. there be like, okay, yeah. hey, buddy. Maybe this one, yeah. this go around, we do it this way. Or maybe one is the creative and one is the business. True. And that's exactly what it is with the us. The yin to the yang. How, how do you define success as an entrepreneur? I think for us at Juliet, we will feel like we've succeeded when we've made boxed wine cool. When all the stylish women that we know are feeling excited about taking it to their dinner parties, to the beach, to the pool, or just drinking it at home on a Tuesday night by themselves and having a luxurious experience. Well, listen, I don't know that anyone is calling Alex and I stylish, but we are gonna you have our vote. You're exactly stylish, stylish. <laughs> and we think it is very cool. Shall we cheers to Barbie? Cheers to Barbie. Do you have a favorite Barbie? Um, I don't. Any any Barbie with sparkles. 
or long hair. That's who go. I always wanted. Let's I wanted a glam Barbie. Barbie let's, Barbie, right? let's make a let's make a um a, a, vin, a vintner Barbie. That's right. Okay. That's right. Absolutely. She'll be stomping on her own grapes. Vintner Barbie, entrepreneur Barbie. Entrepreneur Barbie. Love that. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thank Allison, you. Cheers. cheers. Thank you so so much. Mm -mm. Congratulations. Right. Ooh. Beautiful. Uh, okay, head over to drinkjuliet.com mm -hmm. to find where you can pick up Juliet wine at a local retailer. I'm sorry. 